if you can do that, now the, all you got to do is make sure that the club, when it runs into the ball, goes around to the left. Don't chase the ball. The club goes around to the left. There you go. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Be Better Golf. I'm Mike Malaska, and we got an interesting deal going here. Uh, I think we've got an invisible player, but we're going to be looking at what this does, which I find fairly interesting because you hit the golf ball with the club, yet 90% of what we hear and see on the golf channel and whatever is all about core, body rotation, extension, under this, over that. So we're going to be able to watch what this does, and we're going to do a lesson based on what this should do throughout the entire swing. So let's see what we can do. Hey everybody. Okay, so uh, you can't see me too well now, or if you can, that means I haven't uh, done the editing yet. So um, this is just, I'm wearing a special suit that can replace the uh, everything that's uh, a certain color into just the background. It's kind of like a reversal of what the weather girl does on the news. One of the things I, I wanted to ask you about is there's a, a famous video from the, the gear system can show just what the club is doing and uh, there's a certain player, uh, pro player, won a couple times on tour, that is no, well known as somebody that lays the club off uh, right. in transition. But when you eliminate his body, you see that the club is staying exactly the same. Maybe his body's moving in a certain way that makes it look like it's laying off. Yeah. But if it's only the club that's moving, it actually looks about like this. Okay, so go ahead. Just hit a shot just at that speed right there. Alright, now, actually, you did a really a pretty good job of what you're trying to do there, but what I want you to feel or what I want you to watch with the club face, mm -hmm. watch what I'm going to do here, and I'll do it into the camera here. Okay, so as we go back, the club swings on a slight arc, so it's swinging in a slight circle. However, the club face stays at a 90 degree angle to your swing arc. Mm -hmm. Now it does it on the back swing, and then it runs into the ball, and it swings around on the follow through, but the face doesn't twist and turn down on the backswing or on the follow-through. So if just my club's moving some here and all we're talking about is the club, we would see in a lot of swings we would see this kind of thing yep. through the shot, that kind of thing. Exactly. So you're going to eliminate that so where if you're just looking at the face it's going to almost feel like it like the heel of the club leads the toe back and then on the follow-through it's going to almost feel like the, the heel leads the toe again. So if it's just floating here this it's going to feel a little bit it'll feel a little bit like that the reality of what you want is you want that face to stay at a 90 degree angle to your swing arc and when the club runs into the ball it swings around to the left but the face doesn't turn down so let's see if you can go ahead and do that for me. so what I did before only this time let's let's have a little bit of awareness that the, the heel is leaning both ways or, or relative to your swing arm. There you go. So where people get a lot of what's confused golf relative to what you're doing there is exactly what you showed which is I got screwed up because I took the club away like I was going to throw a ball which made the face work this way and that's how I hit a golf ball. This is what was going on through impact from waist high to waist high. The club was working this way and I hit it really straight. When they introduced this to me get the toe off or get the club on the, on the, on the uh, swing plane, get it here, then into the ball, then turn the face and get it over here. And they introduced all this forearm rotation is when the game got very complex. Now, did you start doing all that forearm rotation chasing additional speed or, or why did you add that? I did it because they said this is what a golf swing was and they said my face was shut. They, actually, the first group, they said I had a shut face here and then I had a shut face halfway down and a throw release. Mm -hmm. And they said that I needed to have more rotation this way to turn the face down, to hit the ball lower, and to create more speed because the face, the face rotation was a speed producer. Well, you know, which actually I hit it plenty far, so that wasn't going to help me. You know, so I don't, I don't even know why I bought into it other than they showed me some pictures where there were some players at the time that had the face light right here on the backswing and coming down. Yeah. And then they rotated through and the face turned over. 
Is that a way to play? Yes, but it's very difficult to time all that rotation. So just make the face. The face opens and closes to the target line, but it stays at a 90 degree angle from waist high to waist high to your swing arc. Yes. Now, if you can do that, now the, all you got to do is make sure that the club, when it runs into the ball, goes around to the left. Don't chase the ball. The club goes around to the left. There you go. And now, if the face works that way, every ball you hit is going to go pretty straight because the face isn't rotating relative to the swing arm. So we start with that. Chip shots, pitch shot, waist high to waist high. Oh boy. I'm, I'm not feeling the, quite the squish of that first one, Mike, as far as, uh, like, the, the, you know, when even if you take a small shot, if it's compressed, you can feel it that one more. Well, you'll start to feel it because then the face, because we can't see you, mm -hmm. we can't see where your right arm is. Right. Well, your right arm lining up with the shaft is the other part of this picture or this thing that compresses the ball. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to do a video where all you're going to see is my club and the right arm. But right now we're just the club. Okay, so I'm, I'm continuing this just about parallel to parallel. Yes. And really feeling... Oh, that was it. You know what I did there, uh, Coach, was I, I really felt... This kind of anti-rotation this way, and kind of leading this way. Uh, Martin Hall just did an interview on the Golf Channel with Tom Watson. Yeah. And he said, right before Tom won the British Open, he was struggling. He wasn't hitting it very good. And Watson said he was on the range practicing one day. And he says, at that time, they'd really gotten him into a lot of forearm rotation. So he's trying to rotate his forearms, face open, and rotate. He said he was hitting it everywhere. And he got out on the range, and he just had this idea. Yeah. He says, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to take the club away and I'm going to try to make the club face aim at the ball going back uh -huh. and I'm going to hit the ball and I'm going to make it aim this way going through. So he felt like the heel of the club, the face was shutting and then it was opening. Like if there's eyes on that club face, they're always looking at the target. Always looking at the target. So he felt like he opened it on the back or closed it on the back swing and opened it on the follow through. And he said he hit a couple of shots and he hit him so good, he just said, well, I'm just going to go with this. And he went with it the rest of his career. Yeah, that was a small shot, but that last shot I hit was a, about smash factor-wise as pure as I've ever hit. Exactly. Yeah. So now, now, once you start to feel it at that level, now, really, if we looked at your face mm -hmm. and we took it and we slow it down, your club face isn't shot. Your face, when it gets to waist high, right there, when it gets right here, mm -hmm. is at a 90-degree angle to your swing arc. Or, or the leading edge is parallel to your spine angle. That's not shut. Mm -hmm. That's square. This is way open. That's what ended up really hurting me, is because I got it there, I tried to get it here coming down, and then I had to do something like that to get it through. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing now is face rotation. Your face is rotating relative to the target line. It's opening and closing, but it's staying at a 90 degree angle to your swing arc from waist high to waist high. That makes sense? Yeah. So now we're going to learn trajectory with that same shot. So because we can't see your hands, we're just dealing with where the shaft angle is at impact. So if you if you do that with the face and the shaft is leaning forward, it goes low. If you do it and the shaft is right here, it goes a little higher. If you do it and it's right here, it goes higher. But the ball keeps going straight because the club face is staying at a 90 degree angle to the swing arc. So then all you're really changing by changing the shaft angle, so if I run it into the ball here, it goes lower. If I run it in here, it goes higher. If I run it in here, it goes higher. But because my wrist and the face is working this way and it's not twisting, the ball goes straight. You're just working with trajectory. So you're saying you can, you can still hit all three shots straight. You can hit all three shots dead straight because it's, it, it's where it's actually your right hand. It, it's it's going to do it. But so whether your hand, the shaft is here or here or here, the ball is going to go straight. You've just changed the angle of the face. Okay. So all we're going to do is the same right, the same face work, but the shaft is going to be leaning back. Let's say it's going to be leaning back at impact instead of leaning forward. So you'd like to see a high one first. Yeah. So the face, 
doesn't open and close. It mm -hmm. stays at a 90 degree to swing arc. Mm -hmm. But when you come into the ball, you let the club head catch up with the shaft. There you go. So now we hit it higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, once you start to get this, you're going to hit them all straight. Then all you're doing relative to your hand's relationship to, the to your wrist, you hit it low, you hit it normal, you hit it high. But you keep hitting it straight. So now all you're dealing with is trajectory because there's not all this twist where you're having to deal with the ball curving a bunch right. one way or the other. All right, that was just a high one. Now let's, let's uh, shortcut to a, to a lower one. Okay, it's the same face work but a different shaft angle when it runs into the ball. Perfect. Yeah.